Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is going to be just a very chill chatty vlog style video. And it's also going to be a video in my Christmas series which is super duper exciting. And this video is going to be all about how I organise my Christmas stuff. So I really wanted to show you guys how I organise my Christmas stuff because if you guys have been on my channel for a while then you guys will know that I have a lot of Christmas stuff. I basically store it all in my flat so it's not the most perfect way of organizing my Christmas stuff but it's what works for me obviously it will continue to improve um, throughout the years I just thought I would make this video and give you guys some inspiration if you are trying to figure out how to organize your Christmas stuff so without further ado if you want to see how I organize my Christmas stuff then just Keep watching. Alrighty friends, so we will start with the spare room closet because in this closet I have a few Christmas things. This is still kind of a work in progress, but basically up here and here I keep all of my like Christmas cushions and then I also have some Easter ones that are like at the back so at the moment those kind of just chill up there I'm really happy with them being in a closet rather than a container because I feel like they retain their shape a little bit better and as you can see I do have quite a lot of Christmas cushions but I do change up my color scheme um, every year which you guys will obviously see throughout this video so I like to have different cushions to match different color schemes and this little bag in here I have my Christmas doormat just because it tends to get a little bit yuck each year so I'm probably just gonna keep in that bag alongside my Easter one as well so those kind of just live at the top of the suitcase and then down here I just keep a couple of bigger Christmas items that I either don't want to put in a container or don't fit into a container so I just keep my two Santas down here so I obviously have the bigger more traditional looking one and then my little smaller white one um, if anyone is wondering both of those are from Kmart they kind of just live in here because they're a really awkward thing to store so they fit nice in this cupboard I also have the green tin reindeer highway sign in here because it's too long to fit in any of my containers and at the back I do also have some wrapping paper and some Christmas ribbon and some like gift tags and whatever but I do want to get one of the little Christmas wrapping paper storage sets from Kmart this year and then move those into one of those and then I'll probably relocate them into this closet. This isn't the most perfect setup with this but it works for now so that's kind of where everything um, in here is chilling. As of right now my Christmas tree just lives on top of this games box and we just keep it in its original box from Kmart. I do want to find a better way of storing this Christmas tree but yeah again down here is still kind of a little bit of a work in progress and I do want to find a better way of storing my Christmas tree just because the box is obviously quite bulky and ideally I would like to be able to store it in the spare room closet. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know because I am very open to that. And then we move on to this corner here. So please ignore the barbecue and the gas canister. Phil and I are on the hunt at the moment for an outside table that we can <laughs> relocate those to. But in this little awkward corner of the living room, we keep all of our Christmas stuff and then I also have an Easter box there as well. Realistically, we probably could could keep it in the garage here um, but we do share the place that we live in with um, the people upstairs so I kind of just would like all of our stuff to kind of remain in our little part of the flat and it's been a really awkward corner as well so we haven't really known what to do with it but I still feel like there's enough room in the living room where this is kind of tucked away so I've just got these ones stacked five high and then these other ones here are stack three high with a little Easter box and then this little Christmas box on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to relocate all of these probably down here and then I'm going to go through them with you down here just with how I organize it. Okay so I've just laid all of my Christmas boxes out kind of here and then I've also kept the kitchen one down on the floor over there because quite frankly it is way too heavy for me to lift. Yeah I just keep them all in these little clear plastic 
box thingies. Most of these, to be honest, I think we've just got from the warehouse, and I think they're a 60 litre container. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure those are the ones that we buy. I will link down below the containers that we buy if you guys are wanting to get your hands on some of these. These are great because they stack really nice and easy and they also um, seal really well so yeah you don't have to worry about them getting wrecked or anything. Obviously yeah I do have quite a lot of Christmas stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this little um, kitchen box here in the corner because yeah I really don't want to lift it because it's way too heavy. So on all of the boxes I have little Christmas labels to tell me kind of what's in each box so I know where to find everything. So this one here obviously you can just see has Christmas kitchen bits. I've just switched it around so it's easier for me to show you. But yeah, I just have like some table runners. I have some platters. Keep anything breakable and bubble wrap. I have some like wooden boards and like I keep most things in their like boxes and whatnot just to keep it nice and easy. Yeah, we have some more bakers, a little night before Christmas set, some bowls, some plates, some cookie cutters and I've just kept them in glad bag and then I have also written on this glad bag cookie cutters just so yeah, it's nice and easy. I've got some mugs down here again which I've bubble wrapped. The Christmas gravy boat. So yeah, that's kind of how that one's all organized. So now we move on to all of the ones that are here. So I might start with these ones here. So I have two containers of baubles. So again, I have labeled them. I haven't really gone too specific with these ones here. I've kind of just labeled them bauble every color and then that way each year I don't have to worry about kind of what goes in with what. Um, I've tried to keep a lot of my like classics down here and and a lot of the like fun colors up here but obviously like you can see there are some green ones mixed in here because I don't have enough room. Ideally I do not want to have more than two containers of baubles but we'll see how we go. So a lot of these containers are quite dusty because they have been stored in my parents place in the garage. Again you can see that I have put everything in glad bags and then I've just labeled what they are so like for example, we've got some silver presents. These ones here I've written mixed white slash blue medium baubles. Got a couple of loose ones here because they didn't fit in the bag. Got some silver baubles. I've got these ones here which are some mini blue plus silver baubles. I've got some assorted blue baubles, rose gold baubles, one for green baubles. So I've kind of organized them in terms of like shape, color, and then size as well. And then I've got different shades of blue. So I've got like navy blue baubles. I've got some pink ones down here. These ones I've labeled as like blue diamond baubles because they have like a slightly different shape. I've kind of just arranged them again so that when the lid goes on, nothing gets crushed. And then yeah, it's exactly the same with this container as well. There are some little blue ones in here um, just to really fill up this box a little bit. There is a little bit of room in this box as well for a few more but yeah this one is pretty packed so again I've got like mini mixed blue baubles. I've got some mini rose gold baubles, some mini traditional baubles and then I've got like green ones, white ones, gold presents. They've got like a little label on them. Red ones, gold ones, more little mini rose gold ones. So like they obviously didn't fit in the same bag so I've split them up. And then there's like some sagey green ones down there. This one is a mix of like white and glass in here because I had a couple of glass ones that I had from my theme where I had white and glass in my theme. And then this one here is like red baubles slash stars slash snowflakes because that was a pack that we got from the warehouse that just had like absolutely everything in it. So that's kind of how that one looks. Alrighty so now I'll move on to this container. So again you can see I've labeled it here. This one just has tinsel, lights, tree toppers, tree skirts and it does have my wreath. Um, I am actually looking at getting a new wreath this year just because this one is very specific to like a rose gold theme and I don't know if I can just use it every year because it just doesn't look right. I do also want to get like a proper wreath bag to um, store the wreath in but I don't know where to find any. So if you guys know of any places that are selling wreath 
bags here in New Zealand. I don't mind if I have to order online. Can you please let me know because I would like to have a separate bag. I just have, yeah, my tree skirt across the top. I only have the one because the white one literally goes with any color scheme. It is great. Obviously we have the wreath and then the lights I just keep in their boxes. The tree toppers just have here. Literally just all of this is just different shades of tinsel. So I have some champagne, some red, some silver. This green one with these like white flecks I absolutely love but Kmart doesn't do it anymore which is really frustrating. They've got something slightly similar this year so I am going to stock up on that but I'm pretty much set on tinsel basically. I don't really need any more. These are little lights here. Um, I took them out of the box because they were annoying to like shove back in every year. And then yeah we've just got a couple of boxes of multicolored lights. We've got white lights and then I've got these little small packs as well. So there's like some snowflakes and some stars and then yeah just the two boxes of white lights and then there's a little outside thing to stick in the ground for solar lights because I think we've got some solar lights in the bottom of this one. So yeah I just have three tree toppers just a rose gold, a silver and then a gold one. I don't really need any more than that so I'm kind of set. Now we'll go on to this box. So this was actually the last box that Phil and I did when we were organizing it the other day. If you missed my um, moving series I'll leave that down below because yeah I kind of showed you guys as we kind of picked all of these bits and pieces up but this is obviously after Phil and I have organized them. So this box is really just a mixture of random <laughs> bits and pieces that either don't fit into any other boxes or we're just not really too sure what to include it in. So you can see on here again we've labeled it so it just has the Christmas box, things for outside, linens, pine cones and candles. Candles, so just a real random assortment of things basically. Phil wanted to fit this wooden box in the container so that's what we've done. We have a whole bag of pine cones which again have been labelled. There are a couple of things for outside, a little candle holder. We have all of our like hand towels, some t-shirts, this little thing that I got from Lush, some more tea towels, there's also tea towels in there, candle, we have our Santa hats and like the bath mat so it's just like random and then we'll go on to these ones here. So this little Christmas box in here, as of current we're just keeping our Santa bears so we have two at the moment and I did actually buy a new one for this year which you guys will see in a Christmas collective haul coming soon but yeah I'm hoping that I can fit one more in but yeah we will have to relocate them somewhere else in the future but as of right now they're totally fine there. And I have this little container um, here which again I have labelled on here if it's going to want to focus for me. There we go. So this one has tree decorations, the hessian tree, garlands and the wreath hanger. So I can kind of show you guys in this box. This box is good because it does actually have quite a bit of room as you guys can see. Like there's, yeah you guys can see, there's a lot of room. My green garland which I like to dress up every year and just put different things in it for different colour schemes. I have this red berry garland which I bought a couple of years ago and I still absolutely love. And then I have this silver garland which I haven't used before but I bought at the end of last year on Boxing Day and I'm really excited to use that this year. And I feel like I don't really need too many other garlands to be honest. The rest of this is like tree decoration so you can see how much room the garlands took but the garlands are also really really light. And yeah these just have like random things in. So there's like this one here which just has some silver reindeer decor and flowers so I've tried to keep them kind of in colors or in styles. Um, I've got some little loose snowballs because they're just really soft. I've fit all of my mini nutcrackers in here. These go on the tree and I pretty much have them for like every color scheme. I have these little gingerbread houses which again I have labeled on there as well. They fit nice on the bottom as well. Now in this Kardashian collection box originally was shoes but as you can see I've relabeled it down here to nice decor. So this is kind of anything that I've like bought from farmers or like anything that's like breakable. So there are a couple things in bubble wrap and then just some more nicer decorations just chilling in there. Got the hessian tree down here in the wreath hanger and then here is just some more like bags of bits and pieces. So in here I just have drums. So there is a mixture of green and silver and as of right now these are the only drums that I have. So I've just popped them all into the same bag. These ones are a mixture of glass 
decorations, which I am really excited to use this year. I have this little thing that Anya gave to me, so that's kind of just chilling down there. We've got little Merry Christmas signs. These I only have two of, the little mini bottle brush trees. I have some gold reindeer and birds. So those are kind of just chilling in there. Some snowflakes and white birds. This is like anything wicker and ceramic. So there's a couple of wicker decorations, the ceramic um, Christmas puddings. Then there's like a little stocking and a little angel in there as well. Again, rose gold reindeer and birds. Red Christmas trees. And I think organizing the decorations this way as well just makes it really easy when I'm doing my different colors. Gold stars. And then I've got some glitter wreaths in here. I only have two of those. In here we have all of my clay ornaments. So again, those are labeled. And then yeah, there's just like literally heaps. And then I've also got the star garland in here which has been labeled and then just like a little wooden decoration there so yeah i'm quite happy with this container i like that there's some more room in here because obviously like the decorations are the like things that i tend to buy every year Alrighty, and then in these last two boxes here i just have a mix of like different home decor to like put around the home so again i have labeled it with what's inside so you can see there's wooden signs the caravan, small trees, snow globes, and little light up things. So I can kind of show you guys in here. Again, there is a little bit of room in here as well for some new bits and pieces because I do tend to buy like a couple of new home decor pieces every year if there's something that I feel like is missing or something that I think is really really cute so yeah we just have um, a couple of like little wooden bits and pieces got these little um, light up houses which I have bubble wrapped got the Christmas Robin we've got this little babushka thing I put it in here because it's made of wood the little gnome at the caravan under there this little tree the books you can see this wooden sign from the outside the Christmas movie board and then there's just like some things bubble wrapped and whatnot under there so yeah there's a couple of like snow globey things um the reindeers glitter lantern and then moving on to the last box so again you can see that i have labeled it here so this one just has a christmas room decor wooden signs again because i have a lot of wooden signs reindeers candy houses bottle brush trees the nativity scene nutcrackers etc so I'll go through this one as well so i also have some bunting up the top which i just kept loose the santa claus is coming to town sign which i've literally had since 2017 this was one of the first christmas things that i bought for myself um it's just battery operated and it's really cute i've got some like wooden signs down here so i've got this merry christmas one and this little countdown one and then this little wooden tree thing as well and then yeah i've got some bottle brush trees in various colors um under here i also have a couple of packs of bottle brush trees um which again i don't know if i'm gonna be able to pull it out but i have um labeled it as well got the nativity scene again i have labeled i just have this little red boot thing that i've had for ages down here you can see we have all of the various nutcrackers so there is the little one on the horse there is a red one there is a white one whose face is hidden up there and then there's also a pink one i'm going to show you guys these next things from the outside because it's going to be way easier and i have like a couple of little reindeer in here I've got some little ceramic things I've got all the candy houses so I've got those in a few colors I don't know if you can see but there's a white one there's a brown one and then there's also a little pink one through here as well and then we also have the little caravan there so yeah I kind of tend to label things if there's like quite a lot of them or a lot of like small pieces there are some things that are like bubble wrapped in here as well so I've got my big glass reindeer that I bought from farmers a few years ago that's bubble wrapped just because that is breakable and there is still like a little bit of room in here as well um, for some things in the future obviously I am pretty well set on Christmas stuff so over the next couple of years I'm going to be buying less and less basically because I don't want to buy a whole lot of stuff if I can't store it and I'm gonna test it out with packing it away um, at the end of this season as well and see how we get on but it's definitely going to be a lot easier than it has been in the past where I just chuck things in a box and hope for the best. 
So there we go guys, that is essentially how I organise my Christmas stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully you enjoyed kind of seeing how I organise my Christmas stuff. Again, it's not the most perfect way of doing it but it's the way that makes the most sense for me and then obviously I can update you guys once I get everything out and pack it all away for Christmas, how efficient it will be. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. If you'd like to watch any more Christmas videos that I have filmed on my channel for 2022, then I will leave the playlist down below and in the eye for you guys as well. And yeah, I think that's everything. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing basically my entire Christmas collection and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!